Well guys, I think I've probably found the cringiest gaming news channel on YouTube, if you can even call it a gaming news channel. Considering that this dude makes Clean Prince Gaming's video titles look normal with the amount of clickbait this guy puts into his. I mean, honestly, it makes Fortnite videos look like a reputable source for information, and that is definitely saying something. Nah, but seriously, this dude seems like he's legit mentally insane. I mean, just take a look at this. <laughs> No. Now, I have a feeling this dude is one of those channels that tries to get hate views because at the end of the day, ad revenue is ad revenue. So if that's the case, I can respect the hustle, but it still doesn't change the fact that this dude acts like he is literally on crack, man. And it's so cringy that it's honestly hilarious. Like, I hope this guy is putting on an actor, else he literally needs to be put into a fucking insane asylum. Either way, this was too good to pass on getting a good laugh from. So the channel we are taking a look at today goes by the name of Michael Does Life. And the best way I can describe describe it is a mix between that guy from Twitter, Ricky Berwick, and Clean Prince Gaming. I mean, that should definitely be a very interesting combo, but somebody actually sent me this dude's channel a while back on Twitter, but the other day, one of his many Resident Evil clickbait videos were recommended to me by YouTube, and my god, this is some next level clickbait, guys, let me just tell you that. I mean, if we just look at the titles of his most recent videos, it makes Crap Gamer look like a fucking amateur when it comes to clickbait. Resident Evil 3 Remake, it's here. Resident Evil 3 Remake, wow. Resident Evil 3 Remake, oh my god. Resident Evil 3 Remake, unbelievable. Resident Evil 3 Remake, you should be terrified. Resident Evil 3 Remake, oh my god. Resident Evil 3 Remake, should scare you. I mean, honestly, how the hell does someone manage to put so much clickbait out for a game that hasn't even been fucking announced yet or even rumored? Plus, this dude has 13k subs, which is honestly impressive, considering the videos this guy puts out, as we will soon see. But the video I want to focus on here is the video he uploaded in the bottom right corner there titled Resident Evil 2 Remake is destroying greatness. Yeah, I'm not really sure how the fuck Resident Evil 2 Remake, a game that's pretty highly rated by basically anyone who's ever actually played it, is what you would call destroying greatness, but I'm sure this video will be very enlightening on that topic. And it's not just a clickbait title in order to get people to click on a video that has absolutely nothing to do with the actual title and thumbnail. But before we do start, I just want to say real quick, the game I am playing is Devil May Cry 5, and before the typical person who always fucking does this whenever I use gameplay of a newly released game, going, oh, you fucking asshole, you just spoiled the game for me, I'm unsubbing, I can't watch this video, fuck you. Guess what? There's no spoilers in this gameplay. Also, Devil May Cry 5 is fucking phenomenal. If you are interested, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, so without further ado, let's sit back, relax, and find out how Resident Evil 2 is ruining greatness. It's time for a reality check. One that you desperately need. I've tried to tell you guys for weeks that the cracks were starting to show here with this all new edition of Resident Evil 2. But, uh, you didn't want to listen. Cause you were too busy going- <laughs> No matter how many fucking times I watch this shit, man. Like, it just never fucking gets old. Like, who the hell starts off a video like that and expects people to take him seriously? This is what I mean. This dude has to be fucking around, man. At least I hope he is, because if he isn't, God help us all, man. If this is the type of people that YouTube is allowing to post shit on their website. I mean, this dude is legit acting insane. But holy shit, man. At least he's entertaining. I will give him that. Well, guess what? In just a matter of a few days, when you come away from GameStop being disappointed with this all-new edition of Resident Evil 2... Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Guess what? You have only yourself to blame, because you didn't want to listen to me, because you thought, oh, Mac was a clown. I think clown is a bit of an understatement to describe what I actually just witnessed here. I want someone else to say for me, but I don't want it to be Michael. <laughs> okay, I just want you to picture this real quick. Imagine waking up in a strange room with a really bad headache, and you look up, and this is the face you're greeted to. This would be the last face you saw before your anal virginity was stolen from you. Nah, but holy shit, man, I wonder why people don't want you to thank for him. I mean, personally, I wouldn't want a dude who acts borderline retarded on YouTube and literally just takes his fucking shirt off randomly while getting overly emotional over a video game thanking for me. I don't know about anybody else, man, and I can't speak for him, but I'm gonna bet they're probably in the same boat as me. Well, here's the thing, folks. I've been 
with Resident Evil since day one. And I know what I'm talking about. And I know you guys are going to sit there and say, No, you haven't, Mac, you're lying. I ain't lying! Don't you worry about a thing, man. I completely believe you. But can we just take a moment to look how nasty that shirt is? Like, that thing looks disgusting, man. If you're gonna be on camera, at least put on a shirt that isn't completely yellow from sweat stains and doesn't look like Wings of Redemption tried to squeeze into that shit by how stretched out it looks. I'm gonna show you right here and right now that I've been with Resident Evil since day one. Look at what I have here. Resident Evil 2, the second disc on PlayStation 1. Resident Evil 2, the original demo. I have here Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I have Resident Evil 2, Leon. What do you have? Terminal Cancer. Oh, that's right. You have nothing. You're a fake Resident Evil fan. You've only been with Resident Evil since Resident Evil 7. You're like, oh my god, I'm a real fan, Michael. <laughs> <Cool. laughs> I hate my life. No. Wrong. You're not a real fan. No one wants to listen to you, because you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about! Well, man, you are obviously doing a fantastic job of convincing people of that in this video. And honestly, man, I don't think I've seen a better put-together video on the entirety of YouTube at this point. And honestly, you should definitely be everyone's go-to source for intelligent analysis of video games and the issues surrounding the industry. Honestly, you're making me want to strive to do better in my own YouTube videos. I mean, you have set a new gold standard in terms of gaming content on YouTube. And I'm trying to help people from coming away from GameStop being disappointed with this all new edition of Resident Evil 2. But again, you don't want to listen because you're like... Oh, well, would you look at that, man? I don't think you were right about this at all. These are actual reviews from people on GameStop.com. 4.8 out of 5 stars is pretty damn good, especially these days, with AAA games being shittier and shittier by the year. Capcom, it looks like, actually delivered a solid product, so I don't think people were very disappointed. Coming home from GameStop after picking up this game. This isn't a remake. It wasn't what we were clamoring for. It's an all-new Resident Evil game inspired by Resident Evil 2 that caters to the Fortnite crowd. Yeah, because when I think about the Fortnite crowd, Resident Evil 2 is definitely the game that comes to mind. I mean, let's face it, most of the people who play Fortnite probably don't even remember, know about, or even give a shit about a game like Resident Evil 2, considering most of them are under the age of 13. I mean, this game is not meant for that crowd whatsoever. Plus, a remake is a new game, that's why it's not called a remaster. A remaster is just like up the game and it's a quick cash grab. Capcom actually went back and remade the game, that's why it's called a remake, so it's a new game. I mean, come on, man. A big-brained in individual like yourself should be able to figure this stuff out. I mean, it's not very complicated, but then again, maybe my expectations of you were just a little bit too high. And this game has many, many problems. And I know the narrative is going to be one Michael. The demo isn't the final product. It's going to be so much different. It's going to be so much different now. It's not going to be so much different. What you see in that demo is what you're going to get in just a few days. Well, I mean, it is called a demo for a reason because it's a sample of the game you're going to be getting in a couple weeks, and it turned out that a lot of people actually liked the demo and the full game turned out to be just as good, so I don't really know what the problem is here, but honestly, man, you were just passing the fuck out over nothing. And honestly, that's like the pure value of this video. It's not for information purposes. It has nothing to do with the actual topic. It's just the fact that you are funny as shit to watch. And this is why I'm hoping it's an act because I really just doubt that anybody actually turns on their camera and legitimately acts this bad shit crazy over fucking video games. But then again, this world is a crazy fucking place in 2019. But that's not what you want to hear, is it? Oh no. That's a hard pill for you to swallow. But when, but when you are disappointed in just a matter of a few days with this all new edition of Resident Evil 2, you have only yourself to blame. Cause you're the one listen! <laughs> Well, shit, man. Talk about a great way to end a video. I must say, this is definitely a unique way to talk about video games compared to literally everyone else on this website. And I have to give credit where credit's due, man. I was entertained this entire time. And I am a little disappointed, though, that we never found out the so-called greatness that Resident Evil 2 was destroying. But that's a common theme with these clickbait titles that have nothing to do with the actual video. The sad thing is that most of his videos are him doing the exact same thing as we saw before, except mixing it up, sometimes talking over gameplay, and that has 
has managed to get him a pretty big following of 13k subs on YouTube, which in all honesty is pretty damn impressive considering this quality ass content that he's putting out. I think what this does is it basically shows you the current state of the gaming news channels out there because a lot of times people are very tempted to resort to this clickbait shit like this guy is doing to get those clicks and ad revenue when literally 1,000 other people are reporting on the exact same news story that you are. But in this situation, everything was taken to the absolute fucking extreme. And I must say, that's what made it so entertaining. These videos are so cringe inducing and terrible that at the same time, they're absolutely hilarious. And like I said, though, I have a feeling this guy is trolling the fuck out of people with this clickbait and acting this way to get views because no matter if people dislike the video or like the video, you still get paid the same amount of ad revenue at the end of the day. I mean, this is the tactic that sites like Kotaku use all the time. They hate on stuff that people love in order to get those precious clicks to drive ad revenue. But I think this guy honestly is playing a little bit of 4D chess here. I mean, I'm thinking this is a parody account of gaming news channels, but I have no fucking clue, man. I genuinely hope this dude is not this mentally insane over fucking video games, but hey, man, the world is a crazy ass place. And who knows, we could be dealing with some escaped mental asylum patient who has found a video camera and is now ranting on YouTube about Resident Evil. But I don't know, man. At the end of the day, it's entertainment and that's all that fucking matters. But with that said, that does it for this video. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for all the recent support as well. We are about to hit the most epic milestone on YouTube, 69,000 subscribers. And that is absolutely insane to think about. So thank you all so much for all the recent support. It definitely means a lot and I will catch you guys next time.